In today's Time Won't Explain, I'm going to explain what happens in home quarantine. All right, Nally, we've got 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. All right, go. Okay, well, quarantine begins at the airport where you get your temperature measured and you fill out a health form. And then you travel in a private vehicle or designated quarantine taxi. If you take public transport, you could be fined up to one million NT dollars. You can choose to go home or rent a room at a quarantine center. And some cities are giving out care packages like this. You need to record your temperature and symptoms daily. If you have a cough, fever, headache, problems breathing, or fatigue, you should call the 1922 hotline to seek medical care. As long as you don't have symptoms, you can go to your home and live there in a separate room and try to keep about a meter's distance from people. You should also remember to practice hand hygiene. Also make sure the home is well ventilated and disinfect the kitchen, bathroom, and doorknobs daily. You'll be monitored daily and cannot leave the home. And Taiwan takes this pretty seriously. If you break quarantine, then you will be fined up to one million NT dollars. Very nice, Natalie. <laughs> oh, thanks. I made it on time. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So now I'm curious to know uh, home quarantine and self isolation, right? Is that the other one? Yes. I think they're, they're quite similar, they're right? They're very similar. Self-isolation refers to people who have been in contact with confirmed cases, and it's basically also 14 days at home. They just have different people monitoring. It's the medical authorities monitoring those in self-isolation. Instead of like the neighborhood chief right. for quarantine, right? right? So that's basically the same thing almost.